Our next toast comes from one of the first graduates recognized at our lunch today from our Atlas Leadership Academy. Her name is Bashali Bomjan. She joined the Center for Civil Society in New Delhi, India in 2008 to head its communications and PR department. She's now running a program at the center with Atlas support called the Asia Center for Enterprise. It's my pleasure to introduce you to Bashali Bomjan. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, my heart is pounding right now, so kindly bear with my nervousness. Growing up in a middle-class family in a small town in India, I never imagined I would be in a room full of freedom champions in New York City one day. I must say I'm a little humbled by this experience of sharing this time and space with so many of you who are impacting change in some of the most difficult regions in the world and others who are supporting our untiring efforts. Let me begin by saying that I am no expert in the think tank space, but I'm very happy to be here today to share with you my personal journey into a career that has not only shaped my thinking, but my life in totality. Being the youngest and the only daughter in a very conservative family of 13 people, I was a misfit because I always challenged conventional wisdom whether as a rebellious daughter to my parents or an inquisitive and sometimes even too smart a student to my teachers and professors. 28 years later, I was discovered by a liberal think tank, Center for Civil Society in Delhi, who introduced me to new ideas that for the first time concentrated on long-term solutions rather than the abundant problems plaguing our society. The center trained me to take these ideas to a whole new generation of people across the Indian society. My journey has not been easy and will not be easy. But each time a journalist tweets a freedom idea or a student engaged with us on Facebook or a professor invites us to share our beliefs in their programs, I realize how deeply advancing freedom and liberty are engraved in my DNA. Today, after four years, I lead the center's outreach and discovery program, which aspires to do the same thing that happened to me to others. Well, I have known freedom in very simple life experiences. Being the first woman to step out of the house uh, to work meant a series of confrontations with mom and dad. Engaging in a live-in relationship in a culturally sensitive place like India meant defying societal norms pressures and boundaries. Marrying a man outside my caste and religion meant standing up to the world to say, my life, my choice. And refusing to change my name after marriage meant standing up for my beliefs against the man I love. It's amazing to see that what binds all of us together here today is a very simple yet powerful word, freedom. A word fraught with meanings and interpretations but a word nonetheless at the core of all human aspirations and endeavors. As we celebrate Freedom Dinner tonight, let us reflect a little bit on what the word freedom means to each one of us. And as we reflect, let us remember why we are here today, not only to commemorate great ideas and works of our champions, past, present, and future, but to also celebrate making the world just that little bit better one step at a time. So let us raise a toast to freedom. Uh, or as we aptly say back home in India, Swatantrata se azadi ki or, from independence to freedom. Thank you and have a wonderful evening.